Hi, Warriors. So I wanted to take a moment to talk to you all about overcoming burnout or how to prevent yourself from going into burnout in the first place. Um, I know this was a topic a lot of you asked about, so I want to cover the basics of this. And even though um, a lot of this might be stuff you've heard me say, it's very critical and countless, countless um research shows that this is kind of the steps that you need to take in order to overcome burnout. So it's a really good time for me to do it because I'm in a position right now where um, in my career, I'm taking on kind of two different roles. Um, One is kind of working with um, a lot of executives and I'm on the road more often. So um, going to Calgary and back and my other role, and then obviously my side hustle with the wellness warrior, um, So it's a really good time for me to chat about it because I can slowly, I can feel my body going into burnout mode and I need to always remember the steps that have to be taken so I can overcome that. Um, So one of the most important things for me when I know that my body might be going into burnout is um, resting. And we always hear you need between seven to nine hours of sleep, but it's completely true. You need that time for your body to wind down. So learning how to do an evening routine, a morning routine, those pieces are really, really critical if you're about to experience a burnout and getting that amount of sleep. So sometimes even in the middle of the day, I might take a nap because I know that my body literally needs it in order to function. And when you can feel that in your body, you know that something's off. Um, of course, uh, I know that wellness is very important in my life. So, um, But in particular, when you're going through burnout, physical wellness, I find, is the most helpful. So the sleep aspect, drinking enough water. So um, I'm just going to take a sip now. We should all take a sip. Um, when When you're going through burnout, getting those fluids into your body and flushing it out and eating proper foods, that's all going to help you get into um, a better state of mind. Things like moving your body and running are going to totally help you. And um, it's going to prevent you from getting sick and everything like that. Um, You guys know I'm a huge fan of the components of wellness. So this can look like journaling. It can look like meditating, uh, reading. It really looks different for everyone, but taking time for your wellness and setting a time in the day for that, my time is the morning, is very important because Um, It also helps you to discover why you might be going through a burnout in the first place. So if you're journaling and you're writing down your whys, why do you do the things that you do? What's um, pushing you to become this better version of yourself? If you're taking time to review that and journal every day or journal about where you see yourself in the future and why you want to accomplish these goals, that's going to push you forward and help you to get out of this burnout state. But it might be something else completely different. Um, So if you're in a burnout mode, having a life coach or a, um, a psychologist a therapist of some sort is always a good solution as well because they can help you figure out what's going on in your life and what needs to change in order for you to not experience that. So for me, I know that with my travel, I need to do things like my morning routine, um, get the same amount of rest each night, All of those activities that I do, drink the same amount of water. I take stuff with me usually to eat no matter what. So I'm not eating um, a bunch of garbage and treating it like a holiday. It's it's no different than if I'm at the office and working from home. So those are really important aspects that we need to consider if we're going through um, a difficult time like a burnout. Um, Another really important thing is obviously getting away from your phone. I do that just by putting it in a completely different room. If I'm taking time to rest and rejuvenate or I'm doing something for my wellness or my physical health, I put it in a completely different space where I don't know where it is. Some people choose to put their phone on airplane mode. That's also great. Just keeping it out of mind gets it definitely out of sight. Um, 
And don't be afraid to do resting and relaxing activities. That's what I call them. So binge watching your favorite TV show or um, taking a bath and watching TV or or whatever that looks like for you. Um, those are really, maybe it's going shopping. I don't know. Whatever um, rest and relaxation looks like for you, take time to do that because your body needs that. It needs to relax and never ever feel guilty about that um, because there's days where this is what our body needs in order to cope. Um, so a lot of times when you're experiencing true burnout, you're going through not only exhaustion, but you're going through a lack of creativity. You are fatigued. You have no motivation. Um, there's a lot of symptoms that go with a true burnout. And if you're experiencing those, you need to figure out what's causing that in the first place. So, um, you know, I've definitely had times in my life where I have a creative rut and I'm not sure what's going on. And sometimes it just takes time. Sometimes it involves, you know, looking at my bigger picture and just doing the things that I know I need to do regardless, going for my runs or, journaling every day or writing things to figure out my why. Um, this is one of my favorite books that I've been using lately. So it's, it's great if you want to be prompted. It's called You Goal Girl. And it has great prompts in it. So it has like a monthly focus. What are you focusing on um, each month and what do you want to get accomplished by the end of the month? It has things in it like habit trackers. Um, so like what are you tracking for 31 days at a time? And it just has, it has tons of cool stuff in it. If you want to be prompted, gratitude logs, gratitude logs are super important and they kind of help you get out of anytime you're experiencing a funk of some sort. Um, and I think the most important part is figuring what works best for your body. I usually find it's mostly physical aspects, um, like I talked about, but you need to write them down and you need to figure out, listen to your body and figure out what's working best for you in order to overcome those symptoms of um of when you're going through some sort of burnout. So I hope that gave you a little bit of information about how we can prevent ourselves from getting into this state of affairs so we don't get sick and we can continue to become the best versions of ourselves. And I would love to hear what your guys' go-to methods are. And um, I will talk to you later. If you have any other questions, just feel free to reach out.